Now we check back in with Nick Blumberg, who's in Evanston as a part of our Chicago Tonight in Your Neighborhood series. Nick. Thanks, Brandis. I'm here with Nicole Denise Pinkard, Associate Professor of Northwestern School of Education and Social Policy. Thanks so much okay. for coming out happy here to tonight. Here. A little chilly, but we're happy to have <laughs> you. Uh, so, you know, Northwestern is an anchor institution here in Evanston, mm -hmm. but, you know, like a lot of universities and, and the places where they're based, that relationship can sometimes be a little tough. Uh, briefly, what's, what's the relationship like these days? I think the town gown relationship in Evanston is stronger than it has been. I think uh, our president, Marty Shapiro, has really made the focus of the relationship important, um, has done a lot of work. We've had something called the mashup, where we focus on bringing residents together, business owners, but also everyday people together with faculty and staff to just sort of get to know each other. And I think it's in those connections that you figure out the one-off events and the things that make the relationship stronger. So I think we're, every university in their town is a little problematic, but I think we're, ours is much stronger. So one of those connections that uh, between the university and the city that you work on involves a partnership with local schools. What's mm -hmm. the goal of that program? Yeah, I mean, schools matter, right? Schools, libraries, parks, all of those matter, and you really want them to be strong. And so the opportunity for a university to work with their local school district, from a researcher standpoint, the opportunity to walk into a school and just to really get to know the kids and the faculty and to dive into deep problems and issues, that's what we're focusing on. And so what we've been doing both with the District 65, which is the K-8 district, is really trying to understand out-of-school time, understand STEM, and really figuring out how to help families figure out how to integrate STEM and how to help the school districts do that also. And then the uh, high school, um, we have have something called NU Academy, where we're really working to figure out equity issues and to make sure that all students have access to uh, college opportunities and to work with families to make sure those happen. And a really strong initiative is called NERA, which is Northwestern Education, Education Northwestern Evanston Educational Research Alliance which is so unique about this. Normally you think about faculty members have research questions and we bring them to the schools, but here the schools, the teachers come to us and say this, these are the questions we have and can you help us solve those. And so I think they're really a unique type of question, really uh, focused on the problems that the school districts uh, bring to the table. That's really interesting work. And you mentioned uh, things like parks, you know, how do resources like that that maybe don't come to mind when people think about educational resources, mm -hmm. You know, why are those important as well for yeah. students? So if we think about learning, and if you think about how you spent your time growing up, yes, you spend your time in schools, but you spend your time at the library, you spend your time in the parks, you learn to play sports, teamwork, all of those things happen in civic resources that the cities have decided how to allocate. So the working here in Evanston, the parks, the libraries, and the schools have really worked together to say, how can we sync these resources together and make them visible to families? So what we do is a lot of looking at the equity and access to those resources and figuring out how to make them more equitable, more useful. And so this summer we're doing a, a, a program with the Y, with the parks and the library, where we're going into the Fifth Ward parks and we're bringing in summer camp right to the kids, right in their parks, right outside them. And we see all of that as learning. So education combined with parks and libraries is one big learning ecosystem. And speaking of learning, we've got about 30 seconds mm -hmm. left. As, as a teacher, this has been a really tough past mm -hmm. year for a lot of students. How have you seen that uh, impact the, the folks who you're helping to educate? Yeah, I think uh, first Northwestern students is, is impacted because everyone's being remote, but also um, um, elementary and high school students. And I think part of what we've been able to do here in uh, Evanston is figure out opportunities to come outside of the home, uh, to go into the parks and to do pop-up events. But I think really what has made us think is that learning it doesn't just take place in the school. And we have to think creatively about how to connect ourselves and each other beyond just the hours that we're in the school day. All right. Well, Nicole Denise Pinkard, Northwestern Thank University, you. thanks so much for joining us. We appreciate it. That's all for us from Evanston. Back to you in the studio. Nick, thank you.